Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another session of Codever 5.2 International Training Bootcamp. So today we actually will be understanding robotics with AI by doing one activity. So before we actually have seen uh, activities with Python and also with the uh, block-based coding and AI. But today is very unique. Why? Because we are using Quarky, the robotics with AI, artificial intelligence concept. So yeah, without any further delay, let's get started. Let me share you my screen and also all the important links such as how to register, and the website details also will be given on the description box. Also, the previous sessions will be given on the description box. You can just check and uh, you can access those uh, links. So, I hope my screen is visible. Yes. So, this is the topic for today's session. That is card recognition. So, basically... When uh, you show the card, like right turn, left turn and things like that, then the robot also follows the same. So that is uh, uh, the activity. So yeah, let's begin. So this card detection is uh, uh, in this session and the next we will learn about uh, self-driving cars. For this, we must first understand how car driving works and how the uh, uh, Quarky is able to detect signs and landmarks, etc. is what is very important and that we need to understand first. So overview here, as you can see, we will understand using our Quarky by doing the following steps. We'll be using our microphones camera, so a smartphones camera to detect road signals and objects. So here we are using a computer. As you know, PictoBlox is compatible with all the operating systems. So you can also use mobile phones if you don't have computer or PC. Or if you have also, you can use that in order to know how uh, this particular uh, self-driving works. And we'll bring a random sign in front of the camera. We can be, we have uh, several uh, directions like right, left, uh, backward, forward, U-turn and all. So you can just bring those uh, signals and you can show it to the camera and uh, PictoBlox will detect it and it will tell us which it, which sign it is and uh, that is all about today's activity students so for this we will be using uh, recognition cards extension and we will be using our quirky as well so yeah let us begin with today's session students and once this session is done i mean once this particular activity is done we will also enhance the activity so how we are going to enhance what are the new features we are going to add is what we will be seeing in our the second part of the session okay so yeah now as you can see here we are i'm sharing you my pictoblox screen i also have my quad key so how you actually would have understood how we will be connecting our Quarky, right? So now on your Quarky and uh, select. Okay, so first select the board, click on boards, select Quarky and click on connect. Try again, why? Because my PictoBlox link is working background. So that is why I'm just clicking on uh, refresh. Once I refresh, it will show, yeah, my PictoBlox link is working background. And I also uh, showed how you can see if your Quarky is running background as well, right, students? How? How by just clicking on the arrow, what we have on the taskbar on our computer. And we can see that back, back in the apps which are all working, those apps will be visible. With that, we need to also have PictoBlox link running. Okay. So... Let me off the quirky on, on once again and well, let me check. So similarly, click on board and then click on connect and then click on refresh. So Bluetooth only we need to connect. Let me connect via serial port and code and later on I will connect with the Bluetooth port. Okay, students. So now let me just start with my code. So as I mentioned, we are basically first, first session in the first half of today's session. We will be seeing how the PictoBlox recognizes the cards. 
okay so next half we will be doing some additional things so that we will be seeing in our other uh, part of the today's session okay so first when whenever we want to see something we have eyes right students but what how how will a computer recognize or how will a computer capture the image that is by camera right students so for that let us now go to extension so from extension which is extension we will be using in today's session that is recognition cards extension here it is just click on it and here sign in is very important students you need to sign in in order to do this activity so do sign in correct so it will take just few seconds to load these extension models and once successfully loaded we can use those right so we were discussing about how computer can capture the pictures and all students how can it capture anyone comment session is open for you anyone have any idea of how our computer use uh, uh recognizes the pictures and all yes <laughs> yes camera right so camera is something which a computer uses to recognize or capture objects and the environment so first we will turn on the video turn on video on stage with zero percent transparency is what uh, we, we will be using and next we will show the bonding box also what is the use of bonding box is that it will we can actually assure that the picture is focusing on which uh, part you know the part of the image for example in an image there are multiple objects if i want to know which object my picture blocks is focusing on the bonding box is very useful in that case right students and then we will actually go to set detection threshold value so this threshold value by default it will be 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 so you can select any uh, between these two and now go to events events when flag clicked is very important students just bring when flag clicked very 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 important thing so we will bring when flag clicked from events palette and one more important go to control we will bring forever okay and again come back to recognition cards and analyze image from camera this is very very important so we are analyzing image from the camera and then we are we will analyze and say what is the object class of object right students we have class of objects here so now go to say where is say it is in which palette the looks palette very good so we'll go to looks palette drag and drop say and again we will put this class of object one so whatever the object which is visible on the screen that particular objects class it will tell okay so to do this activity, we will be needing recognition cards. So in your box one itself, you'll be finding recognition cards, students. So I have my recognition cards here. See, these are the recognition cards. I have my recognition cards. Let me show it to you. So you have three, you have two, you have one, you have Abby as well. As you can see, you have Abby. Got it. And you have stop, go, stop. Then you have uh, the backer one. You have U-turn as well. Correct? Similarly, you have right turn go left turn as well so we have a variety of uh, various signals here so all the signals are present here students so in order to show on this particular program i need to make sure that the picture blocks sorry camera is not working in any other application so i'll off my camera on zoom okay as you can see i'm here hello everyone <laughs> okay let me put this here yeah let me run this program students so when i run it is showing null now you can see it is u-turn now i let me show you two it is detecting as two right students now let me show 
whose favorite is pizza so pizza is also detected let me maximize the screen so that you will get to know what it is visible or not let me show the pizza so it is showing it is pizza right students now let me show one more that is left turn now i'll show go right so you can see it is showing go so like this we can uh, actually find all the uh, all the things here right and all so like this you can find lots and lots of uh, uh, objects uh, students so this is the one such uh, you know activity that is recognition cards so this is how you can recognize so yeah these are some of the recognition cards which i have showed you and uh, you are able to recognize i mean the picture blocks is able to recognize it right now now let me take few cards that is okay i need u turn card okay now it is not recognizing why because i'm not running the code that's why and i'll be needing uh, right turn yeah left turn and then i also want go go okay so using these cards whenever i'm uh, you know whenever the picto blocks application is recognizing go the picto blocks uh, i mean the quirky should move forward okay so like that we need to make the activity so the second half of the activity will be all about the recognition of these cards okay students so now let us write the code to recognize the cards so now it is recognizing all the cards now if it is recognizing particular card what action the quirky has to do is what we will be writing the code for okay so until you are clear students anyone has any doubts do let me know in the comment section okay okay no no doubts yes okay let us uh, continue with our session so now what we are doing is that we are writing the code right students for detection of that particular if go is detected i need to move my quirky to uh, forward if it is right it should take right turn left left turn u turn it should go back right students so this is the activity uh, features we will be adding in card detection okay so for this we are not taking new file we are keeping this particular file as it is and here only we are adding these new features students correct so for adding these new features let us go to control in control we have if then condition so if then else we will be using if then else condition here if go to operators no we don't need operators go to recognition card students if is signal go detected you have in the signals the traffic signal sections we have this particular is signal go detected if signal go is detected what should we do students we need to move forward so for this we will be going to the robot palette in robot palette we have go forward okay so go forward for 1 seconds we go forward for 1 second and then if it is not 1 second then also you can use go forward at some speed so change the speed we don't need 100% let us reduce the speed to 50% okay so go forward at 50% speed now we can duplicate this we can duplicate this as we don't want to repeat the loop again and again so for this now okay so whenever you get reload do not give as reload students or else you can see now what happened so that is what happens again from the starting i will be doing the code okay <laughs> so you're all with me definitely in just two minutes we can do this once again so one more thing you need to understand here is that do not click on reload so all the activity what you have done will just vanish like how it happened with me right now right students so quirky i'll connect via bluetooth port you can see it is connected via bluetooth okay so 
which is the extension we need to use again just matter of two seconds we can finish this uh, code which we had done earlier students so do not worry now turn on video on stage and also if you want to know more correct students if you want to know more about uh, uh, you know the uh, recognition cards blocks you can also click here download recognition card pdf so in the pdf explanation of each one particular code will be given the block will be given so you can go through that next turn on the camera then show bonding box set detection transparency and then analyze image from camera these were the blocks which we had taken students and now go to control palette and in control palette we will be requiring forever block and also if then else condition right students so this much was uh, which we had already done and one more go to events palette click on when flag clicked correct and then go to looks palette and bring the c see how quickly we completed this wow we are so intelligent right now and we are very very fast like air like a wind <laughs> right students so you're all you're all learning all these concepts and as in when you start doing lots of lots of activities you will be getting very easy all these things will be easier right students so if you're feeling difficult right now do not uh, forget or do not give up right students you need not give up you will be definitely getting as and when you start practicing so practice practice is what we need to concentrate on see it is done so if go is detected students what we are going to do we are going to robot palette so in robot palette go forward is what we had selected and we are changing the speed to 50 percent because 100 percent is very faster and that is why we are keeping it to be 50 so instead of uh you know, just uh, doing this block again and again, we can just duplicate the existing code and change the values. So, go is done. If uh, turn left, okay. So, if turn left is seen, so what you need to do? You need to turn left at some speed. Right, students? Turn left. If not, if, if what is the next is? Next if, right left the go is done left is done now right is left right is detected i will go towards right side right students so this is the thing and if i'm not showing any cards if i'm not showing any cards what should i do students i need to stop right <laughs> yes i could see some couple of answers yes so it is stop robot so this is the entire code and we actually added some other features as well as we uh, initially thought so this is the entire code so whenever go is detected my robot will stop and one more we can give it here students when back i also have one uh, this symbol this is u-turn symbol basically but we can use it for back okay so here stop robot let it be one second and we can just duplicate this turn right and we can put it here in the else and stop robot comes in the second else part right students so only the values i'm going to change if i'm seeing u-turn i need to change the direction which i'm moving towards back okay so or uh, uh, whenever i'm saying go i need to move forward when i'm getting right turn move right left turn move left and then whenever I'm moving, uh, I'm showing U-turn, it should move backward. Right, students? So, let us see if this is working. So, for this, let me show you the quirky. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'll on the camera. If you can see my quirky. Okay, so you can see my quirky students. This is my quirky. And here is my Toby. Toby will tell which is this detected sign is. Okay, so for this now, let me show you. Let me keep it in middle so that it will not fall off. So, yeah. So, I have all these card students. All these cards I have. 
So let me show one by one. So for this first, I need to start the code. So I'm clicking on run. So it is showing that null. I'll click on go. Let go. Now back. U turn. Taking U turn. Now let me show this left turn and then right turn. <laughs> so it detected twice. That's why it's showing uh, two times. Now let me come to the initial position. Yes. Now I'll click on go. It is coming going forward. Now let me come back. So for this, I'll be needing back turn. Right, students? So this is all about the program. And these are the new features which we had added as well. So yeah, this is the activity, students. If you are finding any difficulties, in this particular activity, do share your queries on the comment section. We will be getting back to you as soon as possible, right? So this is the complete code. If you have not yet done, you can just pause the video and complete this code, students. And yeah, that's it for this uh, section. Now let us save this code once our program is done. You need to save our code. Very, very important thing. So now click on save as and you can give the name of your project. So he, this is card detection. Okay, card detection. See, this is the card detection and uh, we have completed the code. Complete code is done. Right? How happy are you students? How happy are you? And uh, <laughs> I'm really very, very excited because we actually did this particular activity with with, with very fast, actually. And uh, I could also see a couple of answers before I even drag and drop. I could see lots of students telling it that we can use this blog, that blog. So I'm so happy that you all are learning and you're all are answering the questions before, uh, you know, I drag and drop the blogs. I'm really very happy for you all students and I'm, I'm hoping that you will rock the competition like like as you always do. So this is the activity for today's session students and uh, let me also tell you that uh, we also have uh, okay so we also have this one particular uh, a website web page where uh, it will all talk about your uh, concerns related to quirky so it's it's called as the quirky troubleshooting page so that particular troubleshooting page will be also there let me show that particular troubleshooting page with you all okay just let me share with you Meanwhile, students, meanwhile, you can uh, scan the QR code. Let me show the QR code for you. Yeah. So the troubleshooting page is very, very, very important, students, where you can get answers to all the queries. So let me share. I'm just... And a Pictoblox troubleshooting page also you have. That also I'll be sharing it with you. Okay. So, yeah. Let me share you my screen. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is our uh, Quirky troubleshooting uh, page students. So, any query related to Quirky, how uh, we, if, you know, there are so many queries. If you have any queries, then you can just check out this particular page where it talks more about how you can troubleshoot few smaller problems with Quirky. Okay. If you are not able to find your query here, you can also write us the query at our Stampedia mail. So, or a code ever mail. So, we will get back to you. All the details and these links, everything will be given in the description box as well. So, as I mentioned, we also have a page for Pictoblox troubleshooting. So, any queries or any, uh, any uh, you know, trouble if you are facing related to Pictoblox application, you can get this particular, uh, you know, problem sorted by this troubleshooting page.
right students so i will link all these links on the description box you can check it out right so yeah coming to end of today's session students so this comes to an end of today's session and here are your uh, uh <laughs> whatsapp and telegram group whatsapp and telegram groups actually will give you all the updates updates of every day sessions and anything related to codever 5.0 students so do not forget to join these groups for being uh you know for get being uh knowing all these particular updates as well so yeah these are the things and if you want to scan it you can just uh, pause the video and scan it and join our groups for regular updates and that's it for today's uh, session students i will be meeting you all in the next session i hope you understood the concept and i hope you actually got an idea so you actually got an idea about how you can troubleshoot your quirky and pictoblox application so yes that's it for today's video students i hope you enjoyed and i'll be meeting you all in the next session until then take care bye bye